Emma, we've never talked about this. No! Oh my Come God! On. Please. The, the La La Land Oscars car. I know thing. what you were gonna say. Oh, but like, because that was the night you. There's won a picture. <laughs> That was the night you win your Oscar, so it's the best, best night. Did it ruin your night, or were you, did you still have a nice time? No, of course not. It was, I mean, you know, it, it's an incredible film. I think it's just the chaos of it. Yes. I think the part that was also, like, just personally kind of sad for me was my mom was not at the ceremony, and she was watching it on TV. I was there with my brother. And she said that when everybody reacted in the audience, she thought something horrible had happened in the theater. Mm. So she oh. started panicking, oh, no. watching it on TV. Oh. And it had just been like one minute before that this thing had happened. So I felt so terrible that she was scared. And then obviously, it, you know, we found out what happened. Yeah, which yeah, was yeah, yeah. classic me. The classic. Every time something, you know, exciting happens, <laughs> I either break a bone or my name's in a frickin' envelope for no reason, <laughs> and it says the movie underneath, and they're like, I guess it means that one. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> when you talk about cabaret, it just sounds like a litany of disasters. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it feels like yes, to do cabaret. Totally. <laughs> um, no, it was just, I was, I was sick for, I would say, the majority of the run. And then wasn't there a weird thing with your contact lenses? What happened? Oh, both of my... So I'm, um, I'm also just... I have the worst eyesight of any person I've ever met, not to brag. <laughs> <laughs> Very bad. And I've only ever lost one contact lens at a time. Uh, but on one particular night, singing maybe this time, I <laughs> blinked and <gasps> both of them came out at the same time. And I, I literally cannot see. And so in the blackout, I was just screaming, Bill, who was our mutual <laughs> co-star, I was like, Bill! Bill, Bill. <laughs> and he was like, what, what, what? I had to drag me off in the dark because I just didn't know how to get off stage. Is this your first corset roll? What's a corset roll? <laughs> it's the thing where you wear a corset. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was my first corset roll. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel about the corset? No one likes corsets, do they? Oh, man. <laughs> Has anyone ever tried to corset on? Have you worked? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> it's, um, it, no, it's, he's, uh, you've done a lot of corset work. Yeah, yeah, I have actually. You've done extensive corset <laughs> training. Uh, many corset roles. Yeah, yeah, quite a few. Yeah. First guy ever who made a corset, I did a production of Twelfth Night with Mark Rylance, and I was playing Viola, and Mark was playing Olivia, and the guy who made the corsets was called Luca, and he was amazing, and he... He made these corsets, it was as if they was from the 16th century, whalebone, and he tightened me into it, and, and he had worn corsets all his life, and basically his body went into this extraordinary kind of thing. They, like, train. Yeah. But and what he, happened when he took it off? Well, this is... Well, this is... My liver. It went all floppy. <laughs> but there was... A, like, I think a gentleman... I don't know the answer to that question. Uh, but, <laughs> but there was a horrible moment when he, when, when he was... I was like, oh, I'm not going to be able to eat much when I, when I wear my kills it. And he went, I never eat. <laughs> <laughs> so I have had some sympathy oh, for the actresses God, I've worked with. You do. Oh, you do. No, you get... It was... It was um, Can you sit? I, Can you sit? I was supposed to ask, did you, did you do the leaning no, board? You do lean. I didn't oh, have a leaning Lord. board, but I would, I would just, like, a couch like this. I would because you, re you cannot like sit down. I mean, you it's... really can't. And, it's, and honestly, like... Women existed in that for yeah. such a long time, which yeah. does give you a lot of, of sympathy for that time period, what you were going through. But for the first month, I couldn't breathe, and so I would just smell. And Sandy Powell is the costume designer. She's fantastic. The costumes are beautiful. There's just this one part. It's historically accurate, but I couldn't <laughs> breathe. <laughs> so I would, and I would smell menthol, and oh it sort God. of made me think that I was in, like, a wide-open space. <laughs> so I'd just smell a little bit of menthol and be in a wide-open space for 30 seconds and then be back to not breathing. But then after about a month, um, my organs shifted. Oh, my God. Because they have to, like what you're saying. His whole body shape changed. Oh and it was only temporary, but um, it was gross. <laughs> it was gross. Do you feel they've gone back? They've gone back. Okay. <laughs> they've gone back, for sure. Oh, no, no, no. Yes. You said that yes. like we knew. What happens when you're... Do you hear it? So basically... Like, is it like a... <laughs> oh, it's shit, it's it's more like a, a creaking oh. sound, then there's a pop. And then <laughs> it wakes serious? you in the night with a screech. <laughs> no, it was like... It went, like, a part... The bottom half of my stomach, whatever's... I'm not a doctor, whatever's in there. <laughs> went down that way. Oh, and, and then, I oh. guess, just my ribs stayed up. Wow. So, what? Anyway, don't do it. <laughs> if, you, yeah. if you don't have to, don't do it. Why did you learn how to dance separately? What was that about? 
Oh, well. Just the maturity level, really, it was I think a re you <laughs> <laughs> Lacking of. Yeah, well, I think that they, I think it was also maybe a little bit of a mind game, because yes. I would go every day to my tap lessons, which I had never really done before, except for a little bit when I was, like, 12, and we would do these kind of very primitive <laughs> tap moves, like you're eight years old, which is the year after I broke my arm. <laughs> 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 Story. The day before the last year of school. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we would do our top moves, and I would say every day, How's Ryan doing? And they'd be like, Oh, he's amazing. He's <laughs> doing <laughs> really well. He's exceeding our expectations. Of course, like, they were doing the same thing to me. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about that later. So for about two months, I just thought he was the most you know, incredible dancer of all time, and I was failing miserably. And then they put us together, and I was like, oh, I got this. <laughs> <laughs> Emma, you've done uh, British before. Yes. And was it Olivia Coleman that's kind of given you tips? Oh, they, well, because on The Favourite, that was the first time I had properly done an entire film, you know, with, with, with a British accent, and it was, um, you know, jarring because I was the only American in that cast, and Olivia was so helpful, and I would check in with everybody all the time because everybody was British. And she was like, you know what's really good? If you can say, I can't, I can't even do it now. Bottle. <laughs> There's like a, in the back of your, you know when you do a double T and it's like, bo can you say? Bottle. Well, bottle. You're saying bottle. What, do you, what did she want you to say? She had a kind of, you know, bottle. Oh. Bottle. Well, bottle. Like, uh, like bottle. 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 Not a, bottle. A bottle. Oh, not bottle. Not, not that, like bottle. 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 We can't do it. Bottle. I can't do it. <laughs> So much better than you guys. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! I wow. can do a British accent, <laughs> but that's Mate, always been is... in my head. And she was like, "Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's fine. Bushel, bushel, it's fine." <laughs> Which it is clearly. Yeah. <laughs> but um, no, I've always had it in my head. And then I, I did a British accent in Cruella, and then in this again, I can't stop. I'm obsessed with you guys. Yeah. Obsessed. <laughs> and and the, we, we've talked about this before on the radio and everything. This phenomenon of the 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 Rick Rowling. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Um, and I wasn't going to bring it up, yeah. but while you were over there... I... OK. <clears throat> I didn't want to... Is that... Do you want to talk about that yeah, or no? Yeah, of course. No? I, I'm, because I'm... I just was wondering if anyone else had ever gotten Rickrolled. Uh... I, I'm, yeah, that's an interesting point. I mean, I, these guys haven't. But, they well, hadn't, and, and okay. they didn't know I what it was. And yeah. I, I want just... to be Rickrolled. Rick Rollin or Ben? <laughs> no, it's an, it's an incredible. Yeah. Thing. I mean, it's it's really it's a very fun situation, but I yeah. don't know how you feel. No, about I've it. been absolutely fine with it. Um, <laughs> we, we have a daughter, and she's 26 years old now. And when that kind of started about 10 years ago. She literally sat me down on the couch and said, "You do realise it's got nothing to do with you." No. And 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 I, yeah, and I kind of thought she's absolutely right. It yeah. doesn't. It's just a song somebody chose, and therefore to do this prank with kind of thing. So therefore, it it I don't own it anymore. It's nothing to do with me. This is something else. Yeah. It's stopped now, though. It has stopped. It doesn't it, happen it's anymore. It's stopped, but it keep people keep doing things with that tune on the internet. Yeah. So and what, what, what so what happens, Emma? For people who don't know, you open an email. So you open an email and there's a link to something, and it's like, oh, click this link, and then you click, and then um, basically, Rick, uh, a bunch of pop-ups come up, and, and his face it comes up as well, and then it sings Never Gonna Give You Up. And then until you restart your computer, it doesn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> and, and some people find that funny. <laughs> Security around Strictly must be very tight. They don't want the Sunday spoilers. And also, when they cast the celebrities, yep. that must be under lock and key. Lock and key. They now tell me after they've told the press. Like, everybody else knows, and they all have code names, which I also don't understand. I'm like, why is Ed Balls called Bree? Should, wouldn't he be Stilton? Like, everything has a code name, <laughs> and I'm too thick to... And I'm not good at keeping the secret. Okay. Why, why, why was Ed Balls? I don't understand that. Brie. Everybody's a different cheese. I don't oh, know. Oh, they're all a different cheese. Yes. Oh, sorry, okay, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so somebody's cheddar. Oh, so fine. And but, I... No, but this, I thought maybe there's something about Ed Balls that was cheese. No. Related, <laughs> but also, was cheese. I would be very specific if I was if somebody you, was using If a... we were to have cheese code names, yes. what would you choose for the three of us? Oh. Yeah, but good. also, Graham, really? fine. Uh, you can be included. No, no, I'm not in it. No, no, no. I'm playing the game. <laughs> uh, I think you would be Comte. <gasps> Of Stop! Course. Which is so <laughs> delicious and French and just divine, but oh. also has wisdom. Oh! Uh, and pale. <laughs> 
kale cheese. <laughs> Since we last saw you, Emma Stone, on the show, yeah. uh, you went and won an Oscar. Well done, you. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And there's, you know, often people in this picture go, you know, oh, I never dreamt of this moment. But you did more than dream of this moment. I mean, you planned this. It wasn't that specific. <laughs> Not for that movie. To be fair. <laughs> no, I mean, what you mean just, like, in terms of my childhood dreams? Yes, when, when, you, dreams. when you made your pitch to your parents. Yes. I've... This is... This story will never die. Well, no, but I know. How old, I mean, how old were you when you did it? Because it's I amazing. Was, I was 14. I was almost 15. And I made a uh, PowerPoint presentation for my parents. Oh my but this was, so you wanted to move to L.A. <laughs> and they didn't want you to go. They weren't going to let you move. Is that it? Well, no. They, did, they hadn't even heard the idea yet. Oh, it was I just see. like, I realized <laughs> if I'm going to, you know, I, I, we lived about a six hour drive from, from LA in Phoenix, Arizona. And I realized I couldn't just come home in my freshman year of high school, which is what, grade nine, ninth grade? Mm -hmm. say, say. Sure. Um, okay. Uh, and I realized I couldn't just walk in and go like, I'm a moving. <laughs> I'm 14 and here I go. So I um, decided to make a, a PowerPoint presentation about why it would be a good idea <laughs> for me to move to Los Angeles and follow my big dreams. But you went for it, like it had music and everything. Yeah, it oh. had this song, Hollywood by Madonna. Amazing! <laughs> Were you in a sensible pants? I should have been in a sensible uh, pants. I think I was in my like high school. I went to an all girls Catholic high school, so I think I was in like a plaid sure, skirt and sure. a yeah. collared shirt. And so, so, so Madonna's <laughs> playing. Madonna's playing. And then what? You just had a series of reasons why you should go. A up. series of reasons why this would be a good idea, not just at any time, but now. <laughs> um, and for some reason, it did. Eventually, it worked. And I would punish my child if they had done that. <laughs> but they believed in me, those and, freaks. Yeah. <laughs> but it is true that the presentation ended with... With a... Let me go? What? No, with the, didn't it end with... Um, uh, you probably remember more about it than I do. Well, just, just <laughs> it, end, it ends with you putting up the picture and it, and it says, Emma Stone, actress, best... Act, was it best actress? No! Act no, didn't it end? <laughs> Who told you that? <laughs> it you my name, Oscar. First of all, my name is Emily. So well, there's no way it that. said Emma. Okay. okay. And then, so, no. So you didn't say you were going to win an Oscar. Why are we telling this story? No. <laughs> Why are we telling this story? What is the point of this story? I was going to win an Oscar. <laughs> That's what I thought. I thought the whole point That's of this. That's crazy. I thought, well, it's quite crazy anyway. It is but crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy across the board, but that would have made it like absolutely, she's going somewhere. And it's not there, it's somewhere else. How many times have you seen the Eras tour now? Three so far. <gasps> Three so far. Three so far. I can't wait. I haven't oh, seen it yet. Look, there it I is. could see you in the background. That's me right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the tune, that little blur right there. Just has. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you're not just a fan, you've been friends for years. Since she was 17 and I was 18. How did you meet? Yeah. We met, um, oh, well, that was us the other night. That wasn't when we were 17 and 18. Um, <laughs> just for clarity. <laughs> uh, we met at this thing that they had called the Young Hollywood Awards when I was 18 in LA. And we just kept in touch ever since and, and became great friends. And what was very special about the first night of her tour was I had no idea what to expect, obviously, because it was night one. It was in Phoenix, Arizona, my hometown. And Mandy Moore, who was the choreographer of La La Land, was her choreographer for the tour. Oh, so it was like a wow. bunch of oh, wow. lovely things yeah. all come together, and yeah. it was incredible to see. And, uh, excuse me, but the Swifties, the Swifties have gone nuts uh, because she released a song in the summer, When Emma Falls in Love, and they're all saying that you're the Emma. Can you confirm or deny? You have to ask her. OK. All right. <laughs> I'll ask her. Right. Yeah, yeah. Great. I just thought while you were here, I would. Yeah, yeah. I, but no. <laughs> Shut up, Graham. <laughs> <laughs> In the nicest way. Yeah. yeah. In the nicest way. Didn't say that. Emma and Ryan, of course, everyone loved you together in La La Land. But this, this isn't the first time you worked together. You worked together at Gangster Squad, and then in Crazy Stupid Love, we've even seen you dance together before. Interesting pose on me. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed you're shirtless. <laughs> <laughs> So, so double whammy. <laughs> uh, but now, what happened? Because the dancing didn't go to plan in Crazy Stupid Love. Uh, no. Oh, yeah. You mean the dirty dancing lift? That's what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, we were meant to do that, and then what happened? Oh, you don't remember? Well, I, I remember, but I'd like to hear you. <laughs> You'd like to hear me tell? Your version of it? 
Well, listen, when I was... <laughs> <laughs> When quick I was story. about seven years old, quick story. <laughs> when I was about seven years old, I was in gymnastics class and I was on these parallel bars that are about six feet off the ground. And I was standing on the top of the bars and the teacher was holding me by the ankles. And somehow or other, she let go. And I was standing on this bar <laughs> and I felt myself beginning to tip forward and I put my arms in like this and I fell six feet to the ground. And I broke both of my arms at the same time. Wow. And yeah. And so I, uh, I, so I, you know, I spent a whole summer. I lived in Arizona, which is like 120 degrees, which I don't know what that is in Celsius. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> quite, quite hot. So <laughs> I had a cast and all the, you know, I was just, it was miserable. Um, it was the day before the last day of school. Anyway, I had internalized this. <laughs> that's a really important It's an part important of detail. <laughs> <laughs> I really know how to tell a story. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> years later, oh, we do Crazy Stupid Love. I know that we're going to do the Dirty Dancing lift. I don't know, however, that I have an internalized phobia of being, you know, lifted over someone's head at the height of about six feet. <laughs> so I run to do the lift, and Ryan lifts me over his head, and I... What did I do, Ryan? I've never had this happen, but I imagine <laughs> if a possum fell out of a tree and started... <laughs> To scratch your eyes out. <laughs> it would be something similar. It was, a, it was a lot. And then it was like a full meltdown. I mean, I had like a real meltdown. Yeah, you had to go. I had to go you, crawled in, you crawled in bed and watched the uh, uh, Labyrinth. Uh, Labyrinth. Labyrinth. <laughs> we were in a house and she was like, I have to go watch Labyrinth. <laughs> And then Ryan came in and was like, yeah, right? And then the directors came in and were like, yeah, right? And like, we're going to use the devil. And I was like, great. <laughs> By the way, Jennifer Connelly is a revelation in this. <laughs> I've never seen